Uh -huh, it looks good. Looks good. Fire up some Skyrim. Let's see how it looks. All right, we're in business. We're in business. Mm. Just one second. Mm. Hey there, Shannon. Can you hear me all right? Let me know. Nice to see you. I feel like there's a better place to keep my little chat screen. If I shift this back. Ah, oh, hey there, Claire, as well. How you doing? Ah, oh, thanks, Shannon. Glad you can hear me loud and clear. Let me just find somewhere decent to sit my phone, because, um... I have my gaming PC set up, like I was saying last time, which is an absolute revelation, to be honest. It's basically been in a cupboard for six years, apart from a brief time uh, a couple of years ago. Um, so that's awesome. But because I've only got this one monitor, and I couldn't figure out how to use my laptop as a second monitor, I tried numerous tutorials but maybe it's something to do with this monitor because it's a very old monitor. It might not allow that second screen. But basically, I don't have any room on my screen for the Twitch chat. So these last three streams that I've been testing out these games, I've just had my mobile phone like propped up in the corner with Twitch running in the background, you see. But hello to Olivia as well. Nice to see you. Very nice to see you. Great, great timing indeed. Um, so yeah, I'm firing up this bad boy. Hopefully things will work smooth. I hope the volume is okay. Check this lad out. Check this lad out. Aldi Win the Great. Or Eldi Win the Great, as he would say. He's a legend already in my eyes. So I'm just going to get stuck right in. I'm just going to get stuck right in. And uh, when I was finishing off last time, I realized that I'd leveled up just before I got killed for the first time. So first things first. We're going to take a little look at this. And so basically you have to stick some level in either health, magicka or stamina first. You have to do that every time you level up. Um, and honestly, I'm going to go health. I think it's a bit of a cheap option, but I'm going health. And then you don't have to choose your perk now if you don't want. You can save it up for later. But I, I'm just going to have a little look around here. And um, just to make sure things were working okay I came on to Skyrim for about five minutes earlier and so I just had a look through these um, and I had a little bit of a wander around for five minutes and then, I, and then I came out but I was just familiarizing myself with the controls again as I haven't played this until the other day for like literally six seven years and even then it was only brief oh indeed indeed Zach, Zach knows it He's a cultured, cultured lad himself. So, yeah, you need to choose a perk. And, uh, like, my class so far has got a leaning towards, um, well, basically, I took Way of the Thief. So you can take Thief, Warrior, or Mage. So I took Thief. And, you know, Archery is definitely useful generally more like light armor and lighter weapons so one-handed can be useful block could be useful 
these things like smithing anybody could use um, and then you've got like magic magic um, again more magic but I do have a healing spell I realized this in my little five ten minutes that I was messing around earlier I'd completely forgotten that even like non magic specialist characters um still can actually like throw fireballs and heal themselves and because i'm one of these kaji these cat guys um you always have an active ability that allows you to see in the dark slightly better than the other races so that's kind of cool um but yeah so these are like generally magic stuff and then speech for interaction with uh, other characters Pickpocket is obviously one of the thieving traits. Lockpicking also is also, and sneak is also. Light armor is quite good for me too. <laughs> You're just out there making friends, Shannon. Don't you worry about that. So I don't know. Like, I do like uh, archery actually. Um, Lockpicking is nearly leveled by itself. But it's not something I'm too bothered about right here, right now. You know, light armor could be good. I feel like block is quite handy, actually. I might just throw it on block. Um. Oh, oh gosh, I forgot there's like a sub tree as well. Um. Whoops, whoops, a daisy. Um, so you start with shield wall and then you can take various paths um, beyond that. Um, that's cool. Um, Alright. To make up your entire <sighs> block constellation. So start with that he's a lovely lad I took his helmet off as well um, when I was on for those 5-10 minutes earlier yeah 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 you can clear absolutely yeah yeah um, yeah so I took his helmet off so, so I could show off his little furry face but I'll, I'll bang it back on now um, I do need to get a new mouse though because the mouse wheel on this one is a bit knackered. Um, so let's let's get stuck in. Um, and I realised that I, I was saying when I was playing the other day, I was like, I'm sure there was a sprint key, but they don't tell you when you when you start the game. But yeah, Alt is sprint. But as you see, that green bar there is your stamina. And I also forgot you can do heavy attacks which takes your uh, stamina down as well. So I've been been checking a few things out, as you see. Uh, and so magic, um, magic, magic, magic is actually in your, oh, you have it here as well. Um, but I think it's somewhere else too. And so basically you can favorite this, favorite this. Um, Oh, is, is it not a permanent thing? Do you actually just use it for six seconds? All right, regardless. So I'll favorite that too. And then uh, basically I have them all handy here with my other stuff. You see my mouse wheel, it really blows. Um, so yeah, I will start like this, but this hunting bow is going to be coming out way more often because I... I really enjoy that sort of thing. Uh, chest is empty, I've already seen that. Um, oh, that is a very big rat. Alright, and dish, uh, arrows, and that's it. Away we go. Um, and those of you that were watching me last time, you will remember that there was a rather unpleasant spider down here which I ran away from but this time believe you me 
I am going to mess that spider up real good. The spider will not have a chance against the skill of Alduin the Great. So, oh, and also I've added a mod um, which gives you more realistic movement. Um, so it makes your strafing and your movement, your running slower um, and just a little bit more realistic. So it was just for fun and it was a very, very well reviewed mod. There are a lot of extremely good mods for Skyrim that are made by the still extremely passionate Skyrim community. Yeah, that was indeed a rat, Olivia, even though it was as big as a full grown fox. It was a rat called a skeever. And so you see this chap down here. Last time I played this, because I got killed in, t in this dungeon by a trap that took me out with spikes. Um, didn't see it coming at all. Um, but yeah, this lad, he was a complete pacifist last time. He really didn't want to... He didn't really want to fight at all, but uh, unfortunately, he's barring my path. And uh, I'm going to take him down take him down to Chinatown. How did I miss from that range? That's absolutely shocking. And yeah, uh, I'm just going to change my weapons. But check out how good this guy is bare fisted. You know, last time I was dissing it, I was like saying, oh, Oh, they can fight with their claws. I'm probably not going to use that. It sounds a bit useless. Check this out. Honestly. Absolutely ferocious, man. Absolutely. Like, he just... Look at that. He's, he's like, he's got basically got, like, five daggers for a fist. I'll tell you what, I could have... I could have done with that down, down Barnsley when I used to go out around town clubbing when I was like 18. And there'd be young, young Yorkshire lads looking for trouble. But this guy, he's just, he's like walking around with knuckle dusters. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> right, so this, this was a very basic puzzle here. We've got we basically got serpent, uh, broken thing, serpent, and fish, and then you can spin these around. So serpent, 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 fish. So, um, and I think there was a potion up here, if I remember rightly, from the other day. There it is. I don't think there's anything else of value. I can't stop sprinting now, I know how to sprint. Uh, and then you flick the old trigger here. Leave a time. With a nice box. And there are a couple of rats that come up that staircase as well. I'm trying to mess with my boy, but he won't be having any of it. No, sir. And we did read a bit from Thief last time. So I won't be reading that again right now, but we will find more books, don't you worry about that. But yeah, check out this guy in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's just unfair. Like, I feel bad for these rats. They don't know what's coming. Like, they think like, oh, who's that little softy? Boom. Look at that. It, it's absolutely devastating. Like, I've... <laughs> Uh, like, I'm playing on just the normal difficulty level. It's called Adept. I checked it. Because uh, somebody asked me last time what difficulty you're playing on. And this is Adept. So it's the, it's basically the middle difficulty. Um, and I was thinking, like, oh, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a veteran at this game at all. I've just played it a few times a long time ago. So I'll just keep it simple. But since I've discovered this this slash you in the face attack I'm thinking like hang on a second I should probably increase the difficulty because it's just it's not going to be fair it's not even going to be fair okay so this in fact in fact before I get too excited this mouse wheel seriously um, 
to be very patient with it. Um, yeah. Just a sec. There wasn't anything else there now. Yeah, so this is basically She Lobs Leia down here. Love the Rings reference. And last time, I just, I just ran. I just ran for the hills. <laughs> but none of that. Yeah, rats are that big. They're that big in real life as well, Claire. You don't want to bump into one, honestly. Unless you've got cat claws. Look at this lad. So last time, as you can probably understand, I ran away. But today, we're going to fight it. And we're going to win. You know, spiders, they don't like fire, right? That was my theory. And this spider, he can fire venom at you. So you can't just stand in the doorway and, and blast him or, or he will try and blast you. But he will leave his lair. So you can basically get these like little sneak attacks on him. That was my uh, magic of running out. So I'm going to... You can use potions to get your magic back, or you can just be patient and let it reheal. But I'm just going to switch to the bow a little bit. Give him, give him some iron. And you hear there's a guy um, trapped down here. Don't worry, lad. I'm doing my best. There we go. Look at that. Boom. A beautiful bullet time finisher there. See, no problem. No problem for Alduin the Great. That's it. Checkmate. Check to the king. Anything exciting. I'm already wearing a ring. But you know, you can always sell these things. Um, I'm sure spider eggs are useful in some sort of potion or something. Um, at the moment, honestly, I don't even know. So I'm just going to take things anyway. And this lad, you can take some venom from him. And one of my arrows was salvageable. So that goes... Look at that. But yeah, that goes in the backpack. What on earth was that? It looks like a duck bill. Like a duckbill platypus once upon a time. That is, uh, that is most peculiar. Oh, it's a skeever, apparently. Doesn't look like a rat I've ever seen before. Um, oh yeah, he's, he's had a load of these, hasn't he? Oof. And some of these corpses have got a bit of gold on them as well, but it, it feels a bit desperate, doesn't it? It feels a bit desperate. Alright, let's... Let's let this guy down. You, over here. You did it. You killed him. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the golden claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door, and the hall of storage. I know how they all fit together. Help me down, and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Fine, but let me see if I can cut you down. Sweet breath of arcade, thank you. It's coming loose. I can feel it. So, the claw, please. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with the, anyone? The, the claw? So he's scarpering. And he's, he's not one to chat, this lad, so... Oh, look at, oh, goodness me, that was, um, I, I don't even, I don't know what to say about that savage critical hit finisher we just had there, uh, but yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't playing ball, was he, and Alduin, he takes no prisoners, um, but this lad, Arvil the uh, not so swift. He 
did have a journal, so we're going to check that out. I'm carrying way too many things here, by the way. Way too many things. My fingers are trembling. The golden claw is finally in my hands, and with it, the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool Luke and Valerius had no idea that his favourite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. That's all he had to say. And now the Golden Claw is in my hands, it seems, if my mouse wheel will allow me to look. So here it is. We'll see what benefits it will bring. So, I will further investigate. We shall see what these halls are. Ah, yes, this is the room where I perished. I have no idea how I got down here without killing the spider last time. I, I wonder if I just chopped my way through. I honestly don't remember. Yeah, so we've got some sort of um, Barrow White style mummy druid action. Oof. And they have these pretty nifty ancient Nord swords as well. So it, it's a bit like the king's um, those fallen kings, I forgot the name of them in um, in the Return of the King that Aragorn goes to speak to. Oh, your power went out. <laughs> yeah, it did a little bit of it. He was a bit more slimy than Colin, though. Um, what did you miss? Maybe you can help Claire out with that. I mean, you've... Um, You've missed the slaying of a spider, perhaps. You've missed a guy that I helped out running off from me, betraying me, getting chopped down. And basically, we're moving further into uh, these crypts here. So there's another lad that's popped out. I'm sure there's more than that. I'm just going to fall back slightly. I'm sure there's two more, but okay. Oh, good night, sweetheart. What have you got? Nothing of use. Because I, I don't want a two-handed weapon like that. It's just not my jam. It's here, yeah. These counter-attacks don't got a chance. Look at that. They ain't got a chance. Alduin, he's just... There you go. Cheers, Olivia. <laughs> yeah, Alduin, he's absolutely brutal. So you see this very innocent looking stone on the floor here. This is what I ran over in my panic last time and got absolutely smashed by this spiky wall. Dead. Instant death. It was not a good moment. Not a good moment. This guy's sleeping. Will he wake? Yeah, he will wake up. He will wake up. Yeah, I thought so. Come on then, lad. What you got? Ooh, what's that? Is he freezing me? That's interesting. I'm nearly dead, actually. So let's, um... Ooh. Oh. Uh, wrong button. Ooh. I didn't know they got magic, some of these guys. Uh, potions. Minor healing is, is the way forward. I was not expecting that. I'm stuck in sleep there, is it? Okay, he's down. Oof. That was a resistant guy. Okay. This dude, I just want his shield. That's a bit of an upgrade. Yeah. 
Maybe she was a, a lady once upon a time, I think. Leveled up. Always nice. Oh, wait. Oh, we've got an archer as well. You see, I'm healing slowly at the bottom of it. But it's not fast enough. So we're going to have a bit more. A bit more caution in it. Um, I'm thinking, just for fun, of changing back. Um, oh, I still meant to keep the shield out. Like that. But yeah, going back to the claws. I love these. Look at that. It's so much faster as well than the mix. And this archer ain't got a chance to throw. No, no. Not a hope. Um, I think that Nord bow is slightly better than the bow I've got. Um, but where's that dude's shield? Ah, you see, I don't think you're guaranteed to get the weapons they drop. I don't think so. So, oh no, 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 you are. Okay, you are. Um, iron shield. It's classed as heavy armor, and I'm trying to use light armor. But I think in the case of, you know, like helmets and shields, I don't know if to just use the most efficient and not worry you know not worry too much about the weight um, and I don't know how much it affects things I know it does make some difference but I will give it a try and keep that favorited and then we've got same situation with the helmets but Maybe I'll use the hide helmet instead if I'm gonna switch shields. And you can see, he, he looks he looks beautiful in his his little helmet. Look at that. He looks he looks adorable. Like he just wants to come and curl up on the sofa in front of an open fire. Lovely stuff. All right. Oops, a day, is it? Right. Let's press on. I'm keeping his claws out. Oh, here we go. The next challenge. The next challenge. It's such a... Oh, cheeky. It's such a small amount of gold, it's probably not even worth searching all those, but this could be worth something. Sneaky little box. Ooh, requires a bit of lot picking as well. Uh, A and D, yeah. It was a slightly higher level one, this. I think it was apprentice level rather than novice level. Yeah, it's a bit more precise. That's the one. Uh, so you see, shield, another shield, and a bit of gold. All right. So, time. It's like Ultimate Ninja Warrior. <sighs> do we do it just in one go? Should I just run? No, I think I think I'm gonna play, play it smooth, one at a time. One at a time. Oh gosh, that is very close. I don't know that is very close. Alright, 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 wish me luck. Whoop. Oh, one of them caught me. One of them caught me. It doesn't do that much damage actually. It looks like. Like that trap kills you in one hit. But a massive flying axe takes about 5% off your health. <laughs> I thought it was going to do a lot more damage than that. A lot more. I feel I feel very blessed. There was a game 
a fantastic game called Severance Blade of Darkness that I used to play as a as a like kid teenager, um, and they had swinging axes or like balls of fire and stuff like that, and they just killed you outright, like just chopped you to pieces. It was absolutely savage. But um, Skyrim, at least on medium difficulty, was quite kind there, I think. Come on, Trevor. What you got? Oh, dear me. Ah, oh, this is cool. Look at this. Um, this I remember. You don't forget stuff like this. Bosh. Check that out. Some stuff sticks with you. And burning fire pits is one of them. Let's get him whilst he's, uh, whilst he's feeling that fire. We go through my defenses. Uh, I shouldn't have bothered keeping that hide shield there. It's just in the way. It's okay. I thought he was trying to headbutt me then. Because he got put to sleep. Thanks for the encouragement, Claire. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just stay with my mace for the time being until I suss this place out. Alright. Oh, I leveled up as well. Thanks for reminding me, guys. Thanks for reminding me. I think I'll go stamina. Because I do use um, heavy attacks when I remember. Um, what else? I feel like speech could be useful. Like obviously, I don't need it right here, right now. Um, but you know, I am Red Fox Voice after all. I can't have Alder winners useless with um, his methods of persuasion and whatnot. I would like him to be silver-tongued. Golden pipes. Alright, uh, what's going on? I feel like we're getting pretty deep into this place now. Um, you can see there's an unexplored area here. I did see a split at one point. I'm guessing that was here. This is probably Shelob's lair and then down into the crypts and the entrance here. So there was potentially something here as well. Maybe, maybe. Oh. Alright. What we got? More, more of these lads. Just go straight through the water. Doesn't mind about getting wet feet. Come on. Oof. It's a big lad. But they all, they all perish at the hands of Alderwin. Oh, there's a little gate here. Um, and one thing I'm going to remember to do is save. I think there's a quick save. Yeah, F5. I, I looked it up last time. I just wasn't sure if I could remember the right key. But quick save is your friend if you don't want to end up having to start the entire level or dungeon or area again. Um... Oh, some little mushrooms. That's nice. Troll skull. Goodness me. I'm just hoping that that troll died of natural causes, because I'll tell you what. If there's a troll killer down here, I don't want to stick around to find out. Roll sat alone on a seat of stone. 
in northern the boulder of Shambone. Oh. Let's see if we can... Oh, did this it? Oh, they're coming for me. By the looks. Let's give them a welcome present. You can see them on the... On the map at the top there. The little compass. They were there. Maybe they changed their mind. This guy's got biceps of steel, honestly. And a back of steel. To keep this bow retracted for... Two minutes. That's impressive. He's been hitting the gym. <coughs> Where is that little rapscallion? There you are. Legolas. Oh my goodness. Three hits. Three arrows. Do you want to fire? No? Okay. I think I think they got a bit winded. I'm not surprised. I mean, they were just getting like full Boromir. No mercy. Oh, goodness. Was that a trap or was that just a coincidence? I like I kicked that that stag skull or whatever it was. I thought I was gonna fly off a cliff. This one. Uh, okay. There's a fork in the road. Like, big time. Uh, yeah, I actually own a bow and arrow. Uh, or arrows. Um, Claire. It, I've got a recurve, uh, like, sports bow. But I don't have it with me in Sweden, unfortunately. I've got it back home in England, and I've not shot it for a lot of years. A lot of years, but it, it's a it's a proper bow, you know. Like um, it's not a toy bow. Um, so I mean, it's probably not got the strength to like safely hunt with it or something like that. I mean, you you can get hunting tips like sharp tips, uh, or you can get like sort of like tournament, um, you know, hobby hobby like soft point uh, tips for it uh, I mean they're still metal like they would uh, they would be dangerous if you pointed it the wrong way but um, it's a it's a fairly strong bow for a recurve bow I think it's it's nothing crazy it's like 35 pound draw strength something like that um. <laughs> yeah yeah, I can imagine you'd love that, Shannon. Have you ever have you ever shot a bow, Claire? Oh, you've done it once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is super size fine. It is super size fine. Um, I broke a lot of my arrows at one point though, just using them against the wrong target. <laughs> let's say. Um, so I really need to get some new arrows, and the bow itself, it, it's old. Like I don't know if it's still. In good working condition, I've not, I've not touched it for a lot of years. Um, who else was mentioning it? Ah, oh, Olivia's had a go as well. That's awesome. That's awesome. I've got a toy bow as well, though. That's really fun. Um, like for a toy bow, it is seriously powerful. Like you can fire an arrow about 30, 40 meters, depending on the weather conditions. Which for a toy. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I'm not talking about people, uh, <laughs> but shooting at things I shouldn't shoot it at, like garden fences and trees and bags of compost and stuff that I found lying around. Um, so I put holes in things that I shouldn't have put holes in, basically. Um, but uh, no one was harmed, to my knowledge. Um, but yeah, this toy bow though, seriously, uh, for a toy, like you can get 
you can get suction cup arrows that don't they don't have the weight or the aerodynamics to fire as far as the heavier arrows but the suction cup ones they still fire like a good 20 meters with some decent accuracy but there's these heavier ones that whistle when you fire them and like I said on a good day you can get it like 30 40 meters easy and if you hit someone with that like I've had it tested against me like I, I dared someone to fire it in my back to see how much it hurt and it's not as bad as getting hit by a paintball um, apparently I've never actually been paintballing which is a it, that is a scandal but I I hear and I've seen the bruises so it's not as bad as getting hit by a paintball definitely not but oof, this guy is tough um, but let's see what he thinks of oh no 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 no, no not that let's see what he thinks of this oh he loves it he's actually taken that pretty well he's a tough dude I'm impressed uh, alright let's let's finish him off with the claws he dodged one. Um, but yeah, it's still... Um, yeah, I felt it. I felt it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You know how it works, Shannon. Yeah, for a toy, honestly, I was, uh, I was really impressed. Um, it's made by... I think they're called Zingo or something like that. Like it was quite expensive for a toy. It's quite big. It's like about this. Yeah, something like that. And it has um, something like four thick black elastic bands. I think like two on each side. Um, so you, yeah, you you know you can draw it. You can actually draw it pretty pretty far and fire with good accuracy over a good distance it's really cool and these heavier ones that whistle i mean that's just amusing like it sounds like you're firing mortar rounds or something you know it's like <whistles> it's cool <laughs> um and the suction cups are, are pretty fun as well um yeah but uh but my proper like 35 pound recurve bow is uh pretty cool so <sighs> Let's see. That's a tricksy one, this. Slightly higher level again. Oh, going through picks. It is over here yeah, somewhere. Is it there? There you go. Better be worth it. Oh, look at that. What a waste of time. What what boots have I got? It's. Um, I think there are seven defense. Seven defense. My little fur shoes, you know. Yeah, it, it could be. I wouldn't. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's only. You know that it's like sixty percent the strength of the, the actual bow. I don't know, because like that um, that thirty five pounder. I mean, I actually tried sort of like working out with it for a while, like just for fun. I was like, you know, because archers, um, historically, I mean, I guess. I, but yeah, I mean, I know I've watched a lot of stuff like archers documentaries and uh, like a couple of professional archers on YouTube and stuff like that. But at least historically, when they were using these like up to a hundred pound longbows, I mean, archers were not these like wimps that you often see in TV shows and games. They were hench, hench. I mean, like, you know you could tell looking at their skeleton that they were archers because their body was basically deformed from drawing the bow so many thousands of times since they were a child and one arm would actually be generally bigger than the other arm because of how many times they'd been working that side of their body so I mean yeah I, like although that bow is only like 35 pounds or something I was like ah, oh, but you know it actually takes some serious force to draw it like you know you can f you can really feel the resistance so i was just i was just practicing like repping it like 10 15 times like some old-fashioned 1980s um 
what they called those bull worker like you know like home gym solutions that were fashionable um like before i was born um yeah so it it that toy one i don't know it could maybe it's like 15 or something oh hey caitlin nice to see you as well how you doing you actually did archery that's wicked um but my character this guy how do you do how do you look at yourself now uh there's a way of toggling it i can just oh it was f that's it but this guy he's called alderwin the great which was named who named who named alderwin because i was going to call him archibald the great i don't remember who named him it wasn't you was it claire But he's hard as nails, this guy. Huh, very true. <laughs> yeah, you've got to work, you've got to work it up, Olivia, you've got to work it up. It makes me want to go to the gym talking about this, actually, because I've been getting a bit lazy again. I got, like, just after all the Lord of the Rings stuff, like at the start of the month, and I was feeling like doggy doo doo I was like alright seriously um, since I've moved house there's only a very expensive gym in this small town that I've moved to outside Stockholm and I was like okay it's really expensive but I'm just going to join anyway because I was sad that I'd lost this really good routine with working out that I'd had not long ago um, and so a few days after all this Lord of the Rings thing, I was like, all right, I'm just going to go join the gym. And then I was like hammering the gym for a few days and I was going out like running every day or at least walking like five kilometers and maybe running five kilometers, maybe 10 kilometers and at various speeds and enjoying just enjoying being outdoors again and testing myself and running hills and I bought this GoPro that I've been using for the um, uh, for the Red Fox Explores Discover Sweden uh, video content that I'm working on, um, and so I've been practicing uh, running with the GoPro and stuff like that as well. And then, like this last week and a half or something, I think I've been to the gym once. No, twice in like twice in I think twice in two weeks or something like that. Which, I know it's fine, but I've not been getting the cardio in as well. I've, you know, I've not, I've, like, my routine these last two weeks has just, like, gone, like, after actually getting uh, sort of where I want it to be. But, you know, these things fluctuate, and especially when you're, you know, you've only got a certain amount of hours in the day. Um, <laughs> that's funny, Claire. Yeah, I think it was Claire that came up with uh, Aldi. Um, but yeah, I've been enjoying testing out gaming this last week or so. Um, I've been recording quite a lot of Dracula. Um, yeah, I've been out testing the GoPro. I've been doing a lot of um, like updating uh, with my YouTube channel, channel memberships, Patreon catching up with emails and correspondence so yeah I've been quite busy but yeah I don't want to lose these good workout routines that I really enjoy oh here we go here we go nailed it right then oh do you want a knuckle sandwich lad best served cold is that guy going to come down? Ooh, an archer again. Let's just have a little wonder. I don't feel threatened by these guys at all. I, I feel like I do need to increase the difficulty. Because, uh... That guy, I mean, I gave him I gave him a heavy... I gave him a heavy attack, but, I mean, he just went down with no resistance whatsoever. Pathetic. Um, where is my iron shield? Did I not favourite it? Did I not favourite it? 
Um, no. So. Uh -huh. Oops, did not mean to do that. Classic bumping the mouse. Uh, they're quite good though, actually. Uh, but the fur shoes, they, they go with my outfit, you know what I mean? It's my, it's my look. Um, so, oh, here he is. Here he is. I wondered where you got to. Those heavy attacks. Oh my goodness. I'm getting arrows fired at me. I see you. Causing trouble. You gotta get the zigzag on. You gotta get the zigzag on. Archers don't know what to do with the zigzag. They don't know what to do about it. That's where, um, that's where that boy went wrong in Game of Thrones. When he just ran, he just ran straight. Never run straight. Always zigzag. Like, I run, I run in a zigzag when I'm just going out for a jog, just in case someone starts firing arrows at me, because you never know. You never know, especially in Sweden. I mean, land of the Vikings and all that. And although I've obviously got Viking heritage, you know, there might be a, a jealous clan member, rival clan member, you know what I mean, that sees you out there with your, with your Nikes on and, and says, oh, you know, he looks, he looks vulnerable. Chuck us the longbow. And, you know, I don't want to take that risk. So, always, always keep the zigzags on just in case. Very important. You know, and you, you end up running further within the same distance, you know, within the same, like, like kind of track or route as well, because you're, you're zigzagging. So, um, you know, it's... Uh, an advantage for your fitness as well, at the end of the day. Alright, open iron door. What have we got? Did you ever look up on YouTube about the Skyrim glitch cheese wheels being sent down the mountain? <laughs> no, I've not seen that, Caitlin. I've not seen that. I feel like I should. Yeah, the guy that got punched in the face and he just stood up leaning against the wall, yeah. A very casual indeed. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no doubt, Claire. Um, Sweden's absolutely fantastic for outdoor gyms. I've always been a big, big, big outdoor gymmer. I love pull-ups and chin-ups and stuff like that. Um, but unfortunately, this small town that we moved to recently, it only has one outdoor gym and it's not a very good one. And it's quite far away, like a few kilometers away. So you basically have to run there or take quite a long walk to even start at the gym which is fine obviously you're getting out there you're getting your cardio and everything but if you're actually wanting to focus on pull-ups or dips or chins or whatever then you don't always want to have had to like go several kilometers to start your workout or whatever um and with the sort of ah oh, here you go here's the golden chlorine action beautiful um oh is this a puzzle um, but, um, right. yeah, it depends what sort of workout you want in. Like, I do like to lift weights and use, you know, dumbbells and barbells and cable machines and stuff like that. And there's only so much you can do with an outdoor gym unless you're extremely skilled with calisthenics. Like, I do enjoy some calisthenics, but some of these more advanced moves, I, I just... I haven't learned the technique, you know, so like I said, like pull-ups and chins and other things are, f are fine, but if you want to get like a really good um, heavier workout in terms of like building muscle mass not just uh, some strength and some endurance, then the gym is yeah, it's very convenient uh, how do I know which order these guys are supposed to be uh, bear, moth, or firefly, whatever that's supposed to be, and um, 
all the moths. There must be... I don't want to just keep spinning it until I accidentally get it right. There must be a clue. Must be a clue. I don't remember this at all. But we will. We, we're going to big brain this. We're going to big brain this. Um, have I missed some clues? I'm really trying to think here. I've not knowingly seen anything uh, similar to that whole serpent serpent fish game that we played earlier. I don't think I've seen those symbols anywhere. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't want to get stuck here all day, so unless you guys in the chat have got any ideas, um, I think I'm just going to go do some random spinning. Don't know if I'm missing something. Else. Yeah, that's that's what I was looking for, Claire. That's what I was looking for. Like uh, stuff on the wall, you know. Like last time, they made it really easy. Nothing on this door. Anything or on the back of the door? There's nothing on the wall. There are these little flies, though. Mothy firefly things. Pandora's box or stuff. This is all moths. Oh, maybe it's the order of these. Moths. Ooh, what's that? Bear? Bear? Moth bear. Moth bear. Uh, it's very dark. Um, I'm, I'm just going to try this out just for fun. That did not work. How do you activate it? Um, no, 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 no. I don't know how you activate it. That's weird, because I do have it selected. Um, where was that now? M. No, that was map. Uh, here, magic. Uh, active effects. No. Um, Powers improved night vision for 60 seconds. I guess this doesn't count as night vision, does it? No, 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 no. Um, I do have... This is more for fun. I'm sure if I squinted I can probably see it, but... It was more for fun. Did I pick up a torch? No? No? Oh, that's a power... Is that all? Or a power... That was all. That was. Uh, come on, mouse wheel. You can do it. This guy, though, how big is his backpack? It's seriously impressive. Torch. No. Not that I can see. Um, okay, but this is. I don't know. That looks very smudgy. What's that supposed to be? What is that supposed to be? But if I put... Oops. Oh, it's not an owl. Oh, that's never been an owl. Um, okay, I feel like it's... Fly... Bear... Fly... Bear... And maybe that's supposed to be an owl. Try your fire thing. You mean to cast a bit of uh, light? Yeah. Let me just try this. No, that that's that's a nope. Um, but yeah, I can definitely try the fire thing. Oh, 
Oh. That's very short lived. Um, hmm. I really felt I was on to something here. But moving on. Moving on. But you know, this has got the flies. That looks like a bear to me. Certainly looks like a bear. And then, whatever. That I'm burning to shreds. Hmm. Hmm. Strange. Unless it's the other way around. I feel like I'm missing something out. Um. Oops. It's a bear. The the yeah the middle one yeah. But the last one, no idea. Hmm. Oh, is there something written on the claw? I did think to look at the claw and then I instantly forgot, I got distracted. But I think that's a good idea, you know. Is this, is this, um, Zach's little pointer? Um, because I think that's a good idea. Oh, Zach, is that you? Is that you, Shannon? Oh, it's, it's you, Caitlin. It's you, Caitlin. Yeah, I live, it, honestly, I feel so silly. Because I was, I, one of the first things I thought was like, Hmm, I wonder if there could be anything on the claw. And then I thought, no, maybe that doesn't make sense. Because <laughs> it's giving it away. But that does make more sense, doesn't it? Because that's the whole secret. Ah. Thank you, Caitlin. I hope I would have got there eventually. Um, so, bear... Moth. Owl. Good job. Good job, team. Bear. Moth. Owl. Let's do it. Ah, oh, that's it. High five, Caitlin. Good job. Like I said, it like it entered my head and then instantly left my head again. And I was thinking, like, oh no, but it, maybe it's just on the wall. You know, we've had those things, and then the claw is the actual key. Like you would still need the claw to to get in, even if you had the information on the wall. But no, the clip, the key, <laughs> the key had all the answers hiding in plain sight. Good job, Caitlin. Alright, have we got any monsters in here? Let's get my trusty bow out. Oh, in fact, I can change to the um, change to the, uh, the Nord bow. It does 9 damage Versus eight. Mm. Fascinating place. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, no. Cheers, Caitlin. I'm glad you gave me a little bit of time. It's one of those things as well, like, because I, I have played this and been here before, so I obviously figured it out when I was playing it solo all that time ago, but you know, you get so rusty with gaming and sort of like the logic of gaming and and also it's different of course like when you're streaming especially when you're not used to streaming as opposed to just playing on your own with nobody watching, you know, you you can get a bit aware that you're like don't want to seem like a blooming idiot um, but I'm glad you gave you gave me and the other Fox fans a little bit of time to 
to puzzle it out. And I know there's something down there, by the way, but I'm just seeing what's going on. Ooh, activate handle. Uh, let me have a look at the portal thing. That has some steep stairs. Alright. I think, is this where you learn your shout? Yeah, word of power learned. Force. Unrelenting force. Find the secret of Bleak Falls Barrow. Bring the claw to Lucan. That's the next job. Oh, very true, Caitlin, very true. And this is very early on, so although I didn't get particular oh good morning. Although I didn't get particularly far last time, this was like I said, like six or seven Ooh wow, he's got the shout ability, it seems. Yeah, this was six or seven years ago. And um Yeah, like you said, lots to forget. Lots to forget. <laughs> I missed my heavy attack. School board. I love the shield bash. Very effective. Do I need to heal? Maybe. I don't really want to. Ooh, okay. Do need to heal. That was close. I have not saved for about 20 minutes. Getting low on those. Uh, let's give it a quick save. Oh, that's it. Game over, isn't it? Game over. The Overlord is down. His bread is buttered. The dragon stone. And a very fancy axe. The ancient Nord battle axe of gold. Ah, <laughs> oh, hey there, cute alpha. Hello, hello. Nice to see you, squire. How's it going? Uh, I know I searched this chest, but it says there's still stuff in here. Was there anything? Oh, it was just that study down there. That was his lovely little crypt, his little sleepy spot. I feel a bit bad for disturbing him, actually. Like, he he woke up to rumble and tumble, but I think he should have just stayed stayed where he was, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, this is considerably better. So, oh, is it two-handed? Ah, oh, but it's kind of fun. I won't use it as my primary, but I will leave it favorited. Uh, I want this favorited, not that. And then... Um, I think this is two-handed as well. Yeah. So I'll have a look at that. And I've still... Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Alright. In search of followers, primes, and views, come on bigfollows.com. Yeah, cheers. Do I need two maces? No, definitely not, Shannon. Definitely not. I was thinking of just chucking loads of stuff on the floor, but I'll I'll wait until I get to some sort of market trader dude and at least see what I can sell off before I just start throwing things, because I've still got a little bit of spare uh, weight. Oh, no, I don't. I've got, like, three. Okay, I might have to chuck some stuff. Um, what are you on about, Q Alpha? Poison Youth Pack is following more and more streamers. Cool. Sounds, sounds lovely. Um, I can't remember if you have to, like, activate your shout power thingy. Um, unrelenting Force. Do you... Do you favourite that as well? Yes, you do. Alright. Healing flames, yes. All. Um, no dragon souls. No dragon souls for me. Alright, so this is an impressively big axe. Let's head upstairs. 
This is good cardio. Let's see what's going on. Oh, it's a very sweet little handle. It looks fun to to pull that. I wish I could take lanterns. That would be nice. Bit of atmosphere. Got a box. I really shouldn't be using this massive axe. It's not my character's playstyle at all. Um, yeah. Very good armor, but again, not my playstyle and very heavy. Good to sell, though. So I, maybe I should swap it for individual items, but it's not a, it's not a massive deal, I don't think. I've literally just looted this poor person's Grave. That's terrible. Alright. Okay. Back in to the open plains. Okay. Sounds good. Q Alpha. Um, alright. This is a bit like, this must be Tolkien inspired, right? Or something along those lines. Um, it looks very much like the back door from The Hobbit. Um, alright, let's... What do we go? What do we go for? I wonder if it's still worth adding to Magicka even though I don't use it so much. Or if I just go with these sorts of standard things. I'll go health again, I think. Um, very tempted. Mm, or I don't know whether I should um, work on something that's more in a line with my character. Maybe I should, maybe I should. It's one of those things, like I'm never quite sure whether you, you're better to improve one of your weaknesses or strengthen, further strengthen one of your strengths. <laughs> yeah, indeed, Jen. Indeed. I didn't mean the game in general, I mean, like I was saying last time, there's obviously a lot of uh, Tolkien inspirations with, I mean, almost all modern fantasy, but uh, I was just referring to this particular back door. A sack of potatoes. Um, so yeah, strengthen weaknesses or further strengthen strengths. One-handed skill is really high. Mm, yeah, not sure. I might chuck in a bit of archery, but I do. Uh, but I do improve that naturally. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Armor. I'm going armor. Agile defender. All right. So, where on earth am I? Oh, I'm still not in the... I'm still in the Bleak Falls. Craster's still being in the Bleak Falls, it seems. Uh, definitely don't want to fall off this cliff. Oh, and that, that's another... Is that a different entrance? Is that the same entrance? Oh, no, same entrance. Same entrance. <laughs> the last thing you need is... A fight hinging on a particular weakness of yours. Strength and weakness. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, yeah. I hear what you're saying. Um, but that was like... That was partially why I was thinking... At least just improve your... Your armour. Is this the way down? This feels like a... Very dangerous... Set of stairs. <laughs> I'm not convinced about that. I'm, I'm saving that. Um, 
In fact, let's uh, save it when I'm not on the edge of a cliff. I don't want to get locked into some spiral of doom. Uh, all right. Whoever built this place really um, undervalued the need to get down again. This just feels like a bad idea. I'm sure I'm doing this all wrong. But you know, it works. It works. Do you want to look at these big chaps? Woolly mammoths. I presume. Are they extinct and recently died? Oh, that's a bunny. Yo, yo, yo. We'll leave him to it. Leave him to bunny life. Um, Dragon Lair 3. Okay. Okay, so you can still see the world map. So, we have an objective over in Whiterun. And there were other um, missions as well. Just let me move. That's oh, nothing. Um, let's have a look at... Where, where are my quests... Where are my quests? Here we go. Golden Claw that I found down there. Uh, bring the Claw to Lucan. We don't know who Lucan is, I think, at this point. So this is like the primary quest that we've got. And join the Imperial Legion if you so wish. So we basically just need to make our way to White Room. And now I'm on the wrong side of the mountains. Okay. That's fine. We've got a long walk on our hands here. Not a problem. Olifants. It's a beautiful night. Absolutely beautiful. So, I want to be heading roughly in this direction. If you can circumnavigate the mountains like this. That I don't know. Well, take our time. And with Skyrim, you know, you don't get hungry, you don't have to rest and things like that. Ah, look at these little guys. Torch bugs. I wonder if that's what was on the, the stone back there. It was a bit of a, it looked, like I said, I thought it looked a bit like a firefly, a bit like a, a moth, it was hard to say. But it could be these little guys. I wonder if there's anything over there. I think that realism mod that I added reduced your swimming capabilities. I like I don't think I don't think it's like dramatically weakened you as a swimmer, but it described it said with the mod that you are no longer an Olympic swimmer, so I guess it just slowed your swimming down. Far Cry? Yeah, it could be fun, Caitlin. I played Far Cry 1, Far Cry 2. Um, I think I might have played a little bit of Far Cry 3. I'm not sure. Um, Far Cry 1 was absolutely bonkers. They really went in a different direction with the later games, but um, Far Cry 2 was excellent in a very, very different way to Far Cry. Oh, wow, and a moose or an elk I was just going to say or an elk depending what part of the world you're in 
Ellie in Swedish. And I wonder. Oh, uh, whoa, are you hostile? Or you want to? You want to rumble? You wanna rumble in the jungle? Oh, I'll punch you with my bow. I'm not changing weapon. Oh, he's running away, but. Ah, oh, does the wolf belong to that chap? No, are you fighting the chap? Oh, great shot on the hunter. I've got it. That wasn't. I've got to give myself credit on that first one. Oh, he's got a bow, of course. He's got some cover there as well behind the boat. Oh, a good shot. The hunter knows what he's doing. Oh, he, he got the zigzag on me then. I think this is going to be a losing battle. From this distance. But it's fun. Hmm. I wish I could recruit that moose to help me out. Alright, got him. I was thinking the arrows dropped further than they did. So I think I might be more successful than I first thought. Hmm. It's all about the zigzag. This is the thing he's used to fighting animals. They don't shoot back. Oh, I thought that was going to go. Hmm. There we go. Oof. I appreciate that. That slow-mo. I appreciate that very much. Alright, let's go check out his little camp. Or her little camp. But yeah, which Far Cry game were you thinking of, Caitlin? I'm not... Um, I'm not up on the latest Far Cry game at all. I don't even know which the most recent one was. Okay, let's take their little... Oh yeah, I'm going to have to chuck some things away now. Quite fun having some food. Don't actually know how helpful it is at this stage, but yeah, let's uh, let's chuck some stuff away. Um, I will start with just chucking away duplicates. I mean, they're not even valuable. Um. So, get rid of those. Two of them. Definitely not getting rid of my garnet. I do need a new mouse. Um, it's not so valuable, is it? There's only weight two, though. Shall I just get rid of that, even though it's worth 125? Because it's so heavy. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, but it's still better, like, weight to value ratio than this, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I can, I think I'll get rid of. Get rid of both of those. Yeah. I'm just going to do this with my keyboard instead of the mouse wheel because it's poor. Uh, I have so much junk. It doesn't actually weigh that much, but it's not that valuable either. Like, this is just cool, right? Like, that's that's just a cool thing to keep. Yeah, who wouldn't want that? It's got four, no, three eye sockets. I mean, what's not to love? Okay. 
Yeah, Legolas would be proud. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, I absolutely loved Red, Rede Red Dead Redemption 1. I absolutely hammered it. I played it on multiplayer a little bit as well, but I just loved the, the single player and the free roaming. I've always been a fan of Rockstar Games. Um, you know, GTA and all the rest. Um, hmm, is this too difficult for me to break? Break into, even as a master lockpicker. No. Alder win. Alder win. Um, I guess this is classed as stealing from the dead hunter, so... To be honest, I don't think she's going to miss it. And she did declare on... Did she declare war on me, or did I declare war on her? I mean... Maybe we could have been friends. Because um, I had some little moment of madness and thought that she'd sent the wolf after me. <laughs> um, I think, is it Dark Elves that can, um, like, druid-style recruit animals to help them? I'm not sure exactly how that perk works. But I just got attacked by a wolf. The wolf ran over to her. I just figured out they were in allegiance. Like, why would an injured wolf suddenly start fighting the the hunter, you know what I mean? Fired an arrow over. Maybe she took that as, you know, I, I don't know who started this. I just know who won at the end of the day. Ah, oh, bobby pins. Good old bobby pins. Yeah, Fallout. That's another game. Um, Fallout 3. I know there was a Fallout 1, Fallout 2 that's, um, like, before um, Bethesda's... Fallout series really took off, but Fallout 3 was the first one that I played and really, really enjoyed that. But yeah, Red Dead Redemption, fantastic. Red Dead Redemption 2, I haven't played, but it was given absolutely glowing reviews. Look, I'm back here again. Can you actually change which path you've got? No. Can you? I don't want to mess with it. Maybe you can. I don't care. I'm, I'm very happy uh, where I am. But that's cool that I'm back here. I didn't even realize. Um, so if I head back into Riverwood and then just head up north, then I'm sure we went this way, not that way. I'm going to trust my gut instinct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember there was some, um, there was some salmon jumping out of the, out of the falls there. And, um, our pal Hadvar, or whatever he's called, he got attacked by a wolf down here. Probably the, probably the, uh, the mother of that wolf that just tried to mess me up. Probably trying to get revenge for its fallen madre. Yeah, it looked like they really did improve on the first in every way, Caitlin. Oh yeah, here's the salmon. Look. Still jumping. I'm going to have to get to bed soon, peeps. But I'll get to White Run. And then I'll I'll save at White Run and, and call it a day for today. Because it's, it's getting late. But I just wanted to come on for a little bit and move things on a little bit. Even though we know further forward in the main storyline. But we fought bravely through... Those catacombs back there. Caitlin bailed us out with the flipping golden claw puzzle. Doing her duty. I feel really mean for this, but I just I don't know why. It must be the the thief stone that's that's making me want to shoot this bunny. Like this is just not my Oh, there's another one. Ah, uh, it feels so mean. Look, he's got the zigzags. Got the zigzags on. Oh my goodness me. Clip it. Clip it, as the gamers say. <laughs> that first shot was absolutely terrible. But that second... Oh my goodness, good night. Legolas, Shannon. What would he say? He'd be pla he would be pleased with that. 
he would have been happy with that. Ah, rest in peace, little rabbit. I'll make sure to... I'm going to make sure that I cook that leg of rabbit as the first thing that I ever cook on this game. And I'm going to enjoy it in some beautiful location and say, like, you know, your little rabbit life was not lost in vain. I know, I know, Shannon. But I took it out with a 25-yard Hail Mary to the neck. It didn't feel the thing. No, it wasn't for no reason. I'm I'm a I'm a hunter at heart. It was a matter of survival, Shannon. It was life or death. I had I to be fair, I had absolutely no choice in the matter. Couldn't be avoided, Shannon. You see, I'm not gonna shoot this. But I'm not a barbarian. I've got my limits. What is it? Oh my gosh, don't drown. Gosh. Take it easy. <sighs> How far is it? It's not too far, right? Not sure if this is the right way. I think there was a, a way off to the left here, but we'll see. We'll see what we find. Come on, you can do it. This is hardly a main road, is it? It's a quite a... Ooh. Oh, I just got backstabbed. Look <laughs> Look at that wolf's little face, that is fantastic. Uh, Alright, I think I only need my shield. Just uppercutted it. I love it. He just literally uppercutted him right in the jaw. Yeah, you do. You, you do eat. You don't need to eat in terms of you don't suffer from attrition and hunger. But you do require... Um, food as a replacement to potions because you know I've only got four minor healing potions left so you can use um, food uh, to heal yourself so like I was picking up that wine at the at the start if you remember and joking about it um, so wine this alto wine anyway restores stamina uh, but you actually regenerate stamina slower, which I guess is supposed to be the negative alcoholic effect. So it doesn't encourage it too much. Um, look at that lovely bread. So yeah, you see like bread restores two points of health. Etc, etc. <laughs> Shannon is appalled. But yeah, I went into sneaky mode because until the wolf attacked me, I actually saw someone wandering around there and you know could be friendly definitely might not be friendly I've not done any sneaking in this game yet I just very badly sneaked towards the bear earlier alerted the bear and then shot it from up on the rock as Hadvar or whatever it's called got stuck in there definitely was someone down here I'm like 99% sure. Unless it was a magic mushroom. Hmm. But there is some little village down here. This is not Whiterun. Can't be, right? It's probably the outskirts of Whiterun. The suburbs. Yeah. I don't think it'll be a hostile around here. Allies will be helpful. I'll bear it in mind. Ah, cheers, Caitlin. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I hope to see you another time. Really nice to see you in the chat. It's a pretty peaceful game, this, I think. Like, you know, I know you're, you're fighting and you're brawling and everything, but, but last time was nice because um, when we were actually moving the story forward and everything, 
I could, you know, read out this dude's lines and we came across a few books that I was reading little extracts from as well. So it was like a little bit more interactive in terms of the voice acting aspect. Um, but yeah, it's still, I think, oddly relaxing even when you're punching walls in the face and stuff like that. It's a very pleasant game. But yeah, really nice to see you, Caitlin. Right, so, obviously, yeah, I mean, like, this is, like, super Rohan sort of looking. Um, I forgot what the, is it Medus Hell? The Great Hall of Rohan? But, I mean, of, of course, you could be like, hmm, okay, is this Anglo-Saxon, is this Germanic, is this Nordic? You know, I'm sure there's influences from all sorts of different um, pre-medieval peoples. So, I don't want to, I don't want to scare any villagers here. Here we go. Hello. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Up to your well, bathroom. that's taken oh. care of. No thanks to you. Oh. I'm sorry. So there was some scuffle going on. Um, yeah, you didn't look like you needed help to me. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity. A giant? That's why I'm here with my shield. <laughs> what? I did not see any giant causing any trouble. What is a shield, brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Dravaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Very well, Lydia. I did not see this giant. Blood They've looted it as well. Good hunt ahead of us. Hmm. Well, okay. I feel uh, very demasculated there. Um, I feel a bit rude as well. I just walked away from that villager that was trying to speak to me. But I'm going to head to bed soon, like I said. So I'm not going to start chatting to all these villagers now. I'm going to press on into the castle um, hopefully if they grant me access and um, I'll save it probably like outside the the keep or something hello white run stables yeah there's obviously gonna be a lot of characters that you can interact with here Mercenaries, yeah, 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 I reckon so. They were saying if the coin was good enough, I think. I wasn't massively listening to her, by the way. I, I don't mean that as an offence, but... They're taking their time, aren't they, to head into town. And you can walk, by the way. You don't have to run everywhere. You can, you can be a little bit more dignified like this. Um, and again, with that realism mod that I've installed, the walk is uh, just slowed ever so slightly as well, I believe, to make it look a bit more realistic. Oh, look at this cheeky little back entrance. Um, but yeah, and with that guard, I will head inside. Ah, it is locked. Um, I was thinking, like, that looks like a weakness if you can infiltrate through the waterway. I mean, it could still be a influence if this... Sorry, a weakness if this was Helm's Deep. Very cool. It's a serious winch. Hold. Oh, hello. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Well, Riverwood calls for the Jarl's aid. Riverwood's in danger too. You better go on in. Those 
find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. Indeed, Shannon. All right, lad. Uh, knock, knock. Hmm, it's a serious settlement. White But we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that? I'm just eavesdropping. And ask your little gray to help. I could be even more creepy if I did this. I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's storm cloak. Besides, gray mane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll don't mind me. Job. Look at the tail. <laughs> okay, let's head up and find the Yarl. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Cheers. Evening. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Yeah, yeah, sure. To be fair, that dragon saved my life, so. Damn those gray mates to oblivion. If they want to back the storm cloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. Hmm, you're not a fan. Not a fan of those mercs. Well met, traveler. Was it called Methedras? Or was that no Methedras, that was the castle. I was right the first time, wasn't I? Medeseld? Medeseld? I think. The, um... The capital of Rohan. Very nice. Should we give it a dignified approach? Before I have to head to bed. I wonder if they'll make me leave my weapons at the door. Just the one guard up here. Brilliant, I can handle it. But this talk of dragons. Gone mad, I'd say. Indeed. <laughs> I don't need to, Shannon. It's cool. Alright, well, they let me in here with 300 kilos of equipment. Let's see. They seem pretty chill. Let's see if Grimer Worm Tongue's hanging out. Oh, hello. Are you, are you angry with me? What have I done? What have I done? What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Cheers. I so want to just like open my backpack and just be like zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> I love that. Hello. Hi Grimer. So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yes, and you look very comfortable whilst I've been away fighting dragons. Sorry, uh, yes, I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. Really? You're certain forthright about your criminal past but it's none of my concern who the imperials want to execute especially now what i want to know is what exactly happened at helgen the imperials were about to execute ulfric stormcloak then the dragon attacked should have guessed ulfric would be mixed up in this what do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. 
us in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irulan, you tell send him. a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. <laughs> well done. Jargon. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There hmm. is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents? Hmm, what are my particular talents? Now, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. Do you want me to read him to sleep? Into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Sorry for knocking the microphone. I forget sometimes that I've got this headset on and my head is wider as a result. You don't mind if I sit here, right? Alright. This is a good stopping point. I've taken the throne. The game is almost completed. We just need to go make friends with the dragon, ride the dragon, and take over Skyrim. At Skyrim and, you know, I've already got the throne, so I mean, we're at least halfway there, I think. Good times. Let's save it for today. Just do a new set. All right, good times, Fox fans. I really enjoyed this second instalment. We spent most of it down in the crypts, but we had a little bit of fun out and about as well. And yeah, thanks so much for joining me. Um, I'm really, really going to try my best to get Dracula. These next two chapters of Dracula finished for a double premiere on Sunday. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to. I'm trying. Um, but I've still got some recording to do on the second of those two chapters. And I've still got a lot of editing to do. So I will try my best. I'm going to work on it all day tomorrow. Um, see what I can do on Saturday. And I'll let you know one way or another. So I'll be posting... Um, a community post sort of thing, you know, like I did last time with the Dracula is Bacula. Um, so if it's Sunday, you're, you're going to know if I push it back to maybe Monday or Tuesday, community post it will be up regardless. Um, and I'll let you know on Discord as well for those of you over on Discord. So, And I will definitely be just... Editing this ever so slightly, um, probably just knocking uh, the the very very start out of the video or something, and sharing it over on YouTube as well, so you can look out for that if you want to rewatch any of it or whatever. All right, thanks so much for hanging out. Lovely to see you guys in the chat, keeping me company. Really nice. I'll head to bed now and we're going to have some more Skyrim soon. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'll definitely have a dabble on Half-Life 2 again as well. Um, and there's actually a lot of video games that I would like to play. I've got quite a big um, Steam library from back when I bought this computer six years ago or whatever it was. Um, so that yeah there's a lot of things that i want to play and one of them is uh, a strategy game called total war and i've got a japanese one shogun 2 um i've got an old one medieval 2 and medieval 2 has what it's known as like one of the best Lord of the Rings mods that's ever been made for a, a, you know like an adaptation of a video game um, and I downloaded that the other day and installed it and it's working fine so I am very tempted to stream me playing some of this Lord of the Rings strategy game 
uh, maybe over on YouTube. I'll just do it on Twitch and share it. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but there's another very amusing sort of indie game that came out, I, th I think probably six or seven years ago, called Papers, Please. Absolutely brilliant. Um, it's very... Um, <laughs> dark in a way. It's like almost depressing, but amazingly well made. Very simple, yet very enthralling, very smart. Um, so just search, if you don't know Papers, please search it out um and i'm i'm definitely definitely going to give that a go on stream i think it's not an action game it doesn't have great graphics it's like purposely designed in this very basic sort of retro check it out you'll know what they're doing it's it's very clever i won't say more than that cuz i if you don't look it up i want to keep it as a surprise if you do look it up then you can see better for yourself than I can describe it. So, oh, you know, Papers, Please, Claire. Yeah, exactly. It, it got a lot of publicity, even though it was an indie game. Um, but it was very popular on Steam. I think it was about six or seven years ago, probably when I got this computer. I think it had come out about that time. Um, the Stanley Parable, I think, would be quite fun in a similar sort of like, you know, unusual but story driven game uh, built on the Half-Life portal engine um, but Papers, Please particularly I just think would be quite fun to stream. I can imagine people enjoying watching that. So yeah uh, and there's there's loads of other things like you know you were mentioning Red Dead Redemption earlier and the, yeah there's a lot of games that I think would be really really nice um, but at the moment I obviously would prefer to play things that I already own um, although I did buy a couple of games the other day uh, to give me some other options as well and uh, Left 4 Dead 2 was one of them it was on a fantastic sale as well which I mentioned on Discord um, and I was playing it with Maria briefly which is the first time we've ever tried gaming together actually with me not gaming for a long time and she's had little spells where she's gamed but um, not for a long while either um, and Left 4 Dead 2 I think would be a lot of fun to play with you guys like I, I wanted to experiment doing some um, you know streams where I'm actually playing with you um, and Left 4 Dead is just you know it's made for cooperative play so it just seemed like a very natural one to to try sometime so I'll look into it Ah, that's cool, Claire. Yeah, that must have been a long time ago if it was not even fully released. But I think I'll fire up Papers, Please sometime very soon. Maybe just stream it directly to YouTube just to grab people's attention and see what they think. I, I, I'll, I'll see. I'll see. <laughs> oh, but that's really nice to hear, Olivia. That It's like... It's almost better if you're enjoying it when you've not even been into gaming. I mean course I appreciate anybody just enjoying watching me messing about on these games um, but uh, yeah that's really nice if you've never even really been into gaming so much or watching gaming at least Olivia oh that's really really nice look at this kid just like walking into the chair they've, they've made it though they made it should I just go and sit next to him just like weird him out oh I just stole the plate another wanderer here to lick my father's boots <laughs> and he, j he just like completely ignores them as well. Sometimes. Okay, all right. Bedtime. Thanks for being here, Shannon, Olivia, Claire. Obviously, Caitlin was in earlier, and a couple of other people popped in and said hello as well. It's been really nice. Um, and I'm sure, like I know, a few of you for certain have watched the new video that I shared a couple of nights ago. Um, it was an update video, something unusual for me. I don't normally just sit in front of the camera and record myself talk like that, you know. Obviously, I'm very familiar with live streaming, but I'm not the sort of vlog type. I never have been, even though I am experimenting with different things at the moment. Um, but 
for anyone who's listening, watching this at the moment that hasn't watched my update video from a couple of days ago on YouTube, um, you know, take take a look. There could be something interesting there for you. But yeah, thanks for being here, Fox fans. It's been super, super nice. Very, very relaxing for me. Um, and I'm I'm gonna gonna go to bed happy. So, <laughs> all right. Take care. Lovely to see you. Stay foxy. Read to you soon. <laughs> and um, do join me for Dracula, whether it's Sunday, Tuesday. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. All right. Good night. <laughs>